we're back and going over handstand today. Now I already have a handstand tutorial out and it's going to be right over here, okay? Um, but there's a couple things that I did not cover in it. Um, some things that just because of strength wise I just kind of um, overlooked and I'm just going to show you those things today, okay? So first of all, all you're going to need is a wall or a tree, alright? Wall or a pretty straight vertical tree. Um, palm tree or anything like that, okay? Um, and basically we're just going to cover about what your shoulders are doing, okay? Uh, so pretty much uh, what you're looking at here is the basic handstand where we're going to do a flat against the wall uh, two different ways, okay? The first way is stomach to wall, second way is back to wall. So before we did our lunge, to, we, before we looked at our lunge to handstand um, in the, when it showed all the different skills back to back, so let's go ahead and go with the lunge. You're in your lunge, arms are up. Now what I'm gonna do first of all <clears throat> is I wanna lift up in my shoulders, okay? So you don't want them downward, you want them up and lifted. So your shoulders are kinda touching your ears. That's the first thing. So you wanna be pushing through, that way you're not collapsing into your shoulder girdle. Lift up and through. So I'm gonna lift up and through from here. The next thing is you're levering, lifting the leg up, hands placed down. And you're up. Make sure that from here you're focusing on pushing through the shoulders. Right now I'm not pushing. Right now I am. Okay, pushing through the shoulders. Locked out elbows. All right, coming back down. Okay, that's the first thing. So pushing through the shoulders and locked out elbows. So that was st I was back to wall, levering into it. Now if I walk up the wall, put my stomach to it. Same exact idea. I just walk up it instead. So it looks like this. You're gonna walk up the wall, get your hands as close as you can to it. From here, push through the shoulders. Again, this is me not pushing, this is me pushing. I'm pushing through the shoulders, and I'm staying flat against the wall and holding that shape right there. Lock out the elbows, push through the shoulders, walk back down. What we're really going for with this is trying to get into that straightest position possible. Uh, the easiest way to find out what your straight position is, is to actually lay face down on the floor, um, like this. I wouldn't recommend doing this on concrete uh, or grass, probably maybe find a mat or on a bed or something, because uh, it squishes your face, but I'm just going to do it for you. So pretty much laying flat down, arms extended. And head is in. Okay. From here, pushing through the shoulders, head down, and I'm holding that shape right there, and squeezing everything. Again, like I said, I already have a tutorial set out for this, and it goes in detail. Um, also shows you drills and stuff, but just make sure that you're pushing through the shoulders. Okay. Uh, pretty much, the longer you can hold uh, a handstand, a straight handstand. Uh, while pushing through the shoulders, it doesn't even have to be straight. It can be just being able to hold yourself up but pushing through the shoulders and locked out elbows. Uh, the better off you're going to be at maybe developing into that one arm handstand into other things as well. So the longer you can hold that, extend through, a very good thing for you. Um, let's see, any other thing? Uh, I think that's really it. I'll do one um, lever to handstand for you while pushing through my shoulders without the wall just so you can see it. So we have, first of all, you want to get into your lunge. Best way to find out where your lunge is at, just literally jump out into a position like that. Some people like to have their back foot up, some people like to have it turned out, some people have it directly forward. It's all going to be based on your ankle flexibility. Um, I try to keep mine as flat as I can. All right, so I'm here in my lunge position. I put all my weight into my front leg. My back leg is lifted before I go into my, start levering over. Okay, it's lifted up, pushing through the shoulders. I come down, hands touch the floor, still pushing, still pushing, still pushing, constantly pushing, trying to find that hollow shape like I was against the wall, try not to avoid, try to avoid arching like that, okay, come back to that nice hollow shape. When you're finished and want to come down, leg down, end up, and finish. 
took me a while to get to, the, to, that, to that kind of look, okay? And like I said, for the longest time, I was collapsing into my shoulder blade, so I wasn't pushing out, I was collapsing inward. And I think that's a lot of where a lot of my shoulder tensions come from, because uh, it's not activating the muscles. It's like literally almost bone to bone. Um, so yeah, good luck with that. And I know it takes a while to get to it. Again, look at the tutorial and just use that idea of pushing through the shoulders as well. Oh, one thing I forgot. When you're doing your handstand, another failing thing most people do is they stick their head out way too much, like that. Okay? The second thing they do, first of all, to remedy that, all right, is instead of sticking your head out, only stick your head out enough so you can see your hands. So for example, okay, right now I have my head completely out. I can see both my hands, but I can also see like everything else behind me. All I gotta do is lift my head just enough just to see the wrists and the fingertips. Any more than that is not really necessary. Okay? So you don't have to bring your head back much farther than that. Second thing people do that messes them up is they have their hands down here. It's not stacked along with the rest of their body. Okay, so if you see that from right here, okay, it's out at an angle, and they go there and it makes them roll forward really hard to support yourself. That's going into the plunge position. That's a hard thing to do, okay? It's a very hard strength move to do. You gotta start from the straight position and then go into it or learn to do it from a tuck plunge first and then develop from there, okay? There's no reason why you should have your hands down here to get into your handstand. I know some people like to go from the floor down. There's other ways of doing it as well. Having the hands down from here and then going into it from there. A lot of capoeiristas do it that way and there's nothing wrong with it, okay? But you still gotta develop pushing through the shoulders. That's gonna help you develop toward that one-arm handstand. Um, other than that, yeah, those are two things I said. Head was sticking out too much, arms are down here, okay? No, keep them up with the body, line them up, and only let your head come out a little bit, just enough to see your hands. Okay, I think I covered this in the tutorial as well, but uh, I want to make sure that I, if I didn't cover it here while I'm still out here for the day. Uh, this thing I'm talking about is actually when you're levering, how to keep your body from uh, collapsing and uh, breaking that lever position. This makes it easier for you to get into your, your hands for your handstand. So, best way to do that really is to, again, start on the floor. This time, stomach down again, but you're gonna hold a Superman position. So, for example, face down, okay? Lift up in the shoulders, look at your hands, lift up with your legs. Legs should be straight, squeezing tight, okay? Lifting up with both at the same time, okay? Now, when you think of that same exact position, you're going from a lever position. So, first of all, I find my lunge, Okay, now from here, I lift up, and I think about that Superman position lifting up the whole time. Okay, and I don't break that position until I go up to my handstand. All right, so you wanna keep that completely straight body. You'll feel it, because if you're doing it right, your glute activates, your hamstring, you feel your lower back a little tense, you want those things. You wanna feel that. Also lifting up in the shoulders. So you're pushing outward, and you're lifting up at the same time. Okay, this is also going to be very helpful when you start doing your front handsprings. Um, let's see. So I think I covered everything with that. Um, also, your base leg, it's going to bend, all right? If it's straight, it's really hard to get to the floor unless you have that flexibility or you go really, really fast. And we're not trying to go fast right now. We're trying to go slow and build the form and foundation. Then we'll speed it up when we start doing the dynamic hands. All right, that's it for today. Thanks a lot. I'll see you guys later for a cartwheel. Bye.